say cereal, you say dinner. Cereal. Dinner! Cereal. Dinner! Chicken! You can uh, have the night off, chicken. Oh, okay. I'll go Sammy back. doesn't need any protein. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> In politic, welcome to, uh, we're all sharing this dystopian future that we're looking at. Uh, this is the Kellogg's uh, commercial here for Frosted Flakes or what's the um, Corn Flakes, you know, depending on how broke you are. Frosted Flakes or Corn Flakes, up to you. They have options. Um, they were recently, they're getting in a little bit of hot water because recently they were pitching like, hey, why don't we just do cereal for dinner? You know what I mean? The whole family sits down, pours up a, a nice cold bowl of the Frosted Flakes. Not even a fucking tasty cereal, by the way. Not even their tastiest version of the exact same cereal. Uh, and then the glee on the mom's face, by the way. Guys, moms. I know it's hey, tough cereal. cooking and all that. You know what I mean? Cooking every day. I, I 100%. I, I, look, I understand that. Oh, you say dinner. But cereal. this lady. Yeah. Cereal. Yeah. How quickly she's ready to take protein out of her kid's diet. Unless they're going to cut up some little pieces of uh, steak and put it on top. Because that's, by the way, we'll get into uh, his response here in a second. Make sure you subscribe. Show some love. Share this content with anybody likes. Uh, anybody that likes political content, hip-hop content, um, sports content. We get into it all here. Uh, probably to my disadvantage. But um, we definitely get into it all here. and We rock out. So make sure you show some love. Subscribe. We're rocking. Look. Chuck Protein. How sad you chicken can, comes uh, in. Have the night off, chicken. We're not going to kill you tonight, okay? You're going to have to wait until tomorrow. We're going to let you sit on it. Uh, okay. God, the look on the the look to the camera, the look to the camera, like it's an office episode. You know what I'm saying? The sick look that she gives, as if it's like the jokes on her family. You know, in uh, six years when her kids are malnourished and their bones are brittle and they break. <laughs> Okay, I'll go marinate. Cereal. Yeah. Go get ready for tomorrow. Psych, we're going to have cereal again tomorrow, bitch. Uh, <laughs> make sure you subscribe. Like I said, show some love. We're going to get into the uh, get into the crux of this. We're going to listen to Kellogg Man, Kellogg CEO. Uh, you know, he hopped on. I think it was CNN. Let's pull it. Exclusively today is W. No, oh, uh, NBC. And, uh, you know, he defended this. Obviously, like I said, there were some. There was some, uh, uh, you know, outcries of, uh, you know, how dystopian this actually did look and um, how tone deaf it was, you know, because we're going to get into it. But I mean, he's like, this is a great option for you guys. <laughs> okay, Kellogg, come eat your fucking kids uh, cereal. Every Good chairman and CEO, Gary Pilnick, having even. just presented at CAGME. Uh, Gary, it's great to have you. It's like, uh, it's big piece in the journal today, just looking at the share of income going to food and sort of exploring the idea that it's hard to find eras in which food prices actually retrench and stay down. Uh, we seem like this was a good idea for you to come on and push some bullshit. Um, so, talk about what ahead. you said today or, or, at Cagney. Well, Carl, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. When we think about our consumer under pressure, there's things that we could do, but most importantly, what this category could do. Same the cereal category has always been quite affordable, and it tends to be a great destination when consumers are under pressure. So some of the things that we're doing is first messaging. we got to reach the consumer where they are. So we're advertising about cereal for dinner. If you think about the cost of cereal for a family versus what they might otherwise do, that's going to be much more affordable. The other places that we like to go is we talk about making sure we have the right pack. At we're trying right to help you guys in the right place. You so want to starve having a different size pack that'll have a different price point that'll take some pressure off the consumer while they're shopping. So those are some of the things that we're doing. But in, in general, the cereal category is a place that a lot of folks might come to because the the price of a bowl of cereal with with milk and honest, with you have fruit no is less than a dollar. So you can imagine why a consumer under pressure might find that to be a good place to go. Right. I'm all for innovation and marketing, but the idea of having cereal for I think having uh, meat every night for dinner and having a protein, like that sounds old school to me. What do you have to say about that, Kellogg CEO? Um, is there the potential for that to land the wrong way? Absolutely not. Uh, we don't think so. In fact, it's landing really well right now, Carl. People are grateful. When we look at all of our data, of course, we would know that breakfast cereal is the number one choice for in-home consumers. This doesn't really mean too much because, I mean, stocks do fluctuate. But I'm just saying we're looking at a red down arrow, brother, as you're saying that. We understand that for breakfast. I am seeing the big uh, month-to-date green arrow, though. percent of our consumption is outside the breakfast occasion. A lot of it's at dinner. And that, that occasion continues to grow, as well as the snacking occasion. But 
Um, cereal for dinner is something that is. This is the thing. Center cereal for dinner. Any okay, let's just even let's play with this concept here and let's say uh let's say yes, it's growing. I mean, we do see, like I said, a 13% growth month to date, whatever. So let's just go with that. People are broke as fuck, they're starving to death, so they're eating frosted flakes for dinner. Um, with that being said, is it families? Okay, now you're you're marketing it towards family, like hey, instead of having chicken for dinner. Have a bowl of Frosted Flakes, guys. Maybe share the bowl. Maybe everybody gets a bowl, uh, spoon, and you guys all share one bowl. Um, yeah, that is what he's pitching right now for families. That's not the people that we're talking about that's eating fucking uh, cornflakes for dinner. I, I guarantee you that. It's probably more on trend now, and we would expect to continue as that consumer is under pressure. I have to admit, as a busy mom, I've had cereal for dinner <laughs> more than once recently. So, Gary, I guess... Uh, Somebody has Kellogg's stock on the fucking panel here. Maybe your marketing is, is working on me. I'm wondering about some of the conversations Four that you've kids. had to have um, with some of your bigger clients, you know, Walmarts, Targets, as they're trying to make sure that they're offering the best possible prices that they can to their consumers that are coming in. Are they asking yeah. you to sort of take some of this on the chin so that the... Let's, the let's, see, let's, let's, let's see him talk about how much uh, Walmart cares about the consumer. Let's they're go. They're selling the cereal for is a little bit yeah. unusual to the consumer. Courtney, it's a great question. That's exactly what retailers always do. Retailers are in the business of making sure they do the Thank right thing for their the customers. That's the end consumer. So whenever you want it to have a price increase, they're going to make sure that we're doing what we need to do. And what we're doing, we need to make sure that we drive productivity so that we can cover as much inflation as possible. If you go backwards in time, the inflation was just so great. Companies had a tough time covering it. But that's our job as well. Those conversations have always happened. They're happening now and will continue into the future. Gary, a big uh, theme running through Cagney this year appears to be uh, companies that believe that volumes are going to uh, recover somewhat in the second half. Is that, are you in that school? You know, it's interesting. The way we talk about it is when you take a look at the curves of dollars and volume, there was quite a gap, particularly last year. Be rich the way. The city be we were predicting and we forecasted that, that that gap would start to narrow. It happened in Q4 and it's happening now as well in the cereal category. And the good news is the cereal category, category is doing quite well. It's uh, in growth. People are starving, brother. Look, they have no other option. They're eating fucking cereal for breakfast. We're doing great. So the volumes are now rising up to meet where the dollar curve is as well. So we do oh, yeah. think that is going to be the case. We think the narrowing continues. Oh, okay. That was the end. The narrowing continuing is the end. Um, let me just go ahead and scoop, 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 do doop, boop. All right, cool. And then let me make sure we're we're all good. Hop in the comments. Let us know we're coming through crispy clean. Oh, there we are. All right. I checked it myself, but hop in the comments. And let me know that you're getting me loud and clear and direct. Um, but yeah, let me know how you feel about that as well. Uh, that does it does feel like I said dystopian, really. Uh, and like they're really trying to make you feel like this is in your best interest. You know what I mean? Like this is this is for you. Which I'm serious. That's the sales. That's the sales in them. You know what I mean? Where it's like, hey, let's uh um we have an opportunity here where people are really under pressure is the word that they like to continue to use. Um, and we're gonna become a desperation option. So how do we take advantage of that and then also kind of do a PR spin on the desperate, the, the need, you know what I mean? And that the fact that people are sitting here like, look how happy, I don't get me wrong, kids probably would be this happy if you're like, hey, we're doing fucking Fruit Loops for dinner, guys. Fuck yeah! Fruit Loops, no steak! So, I mean, <coughs> this is probably genuine excitement that these kids are tapping into. You know, they're even, look, the mom got the mini wheats in her hands. Everybody has options. Thank you. Thank you, Chloe. I appreciate that. Everybody has options. That's another way to spin it. Like, are you tired of having to please picky eaters? Why don't you just show up at the, the kitchen table and have three different boxes of options for them? And by the way, think about, you know, sure. Yeah. When they're in gym class, their kneecaps will probably burst on impact. Of course, of course. But at the end of the day, You'll be saving money, and that's money, you know, a dollar saved is a dollar earned that could go towards their hospital bills when you're, you know, repairing their hips and uh, things of that nature. So I just want to run through this one more hey, time. Oh, you say dinner. Look, hey, I want to be honest. There's somebody in this video that does not want to be in this fucking commercial and is being held here against their will by this giant tiger. The tiger is psyched, okay, and he's really, he's giving the sales pitch. 
He's really the he's the front man. But you got Toucan Sam, man. Somebody go out there. Somebody save Toucan Sam. He does not want to be here. Toucan Sam does not want to be here. He knows it's wrong. He knows he's a breakfast bird, for fuck's sake. He is not a nighttime bird. Definitely not a dinner bird. Um, and just watch this silent cereal. Damn yeah. cereal. He's a well. Okay, okay, he's a toucan. I was right saying yeah. he's a that's hilarious. Yeah. Oh my god! Look at these kids, man. The direction on this. The dad that should be this close to hanging himself because he can only provide cereal for his kids. I mean, I'm not trying to look. I'm not trying to shame or anything. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, I know it's. I know it's hard. I'm not trying to say that. But look, man, you could have bought him. Some, if this would have been a Raymond Noodles commercial, honest to God, I would have felt better about it. You know, like, guys, you could do Raymond Noodles for dinner. Like, we were already doing that. But let us know and then turn it into a marketing uh, campaign. I'm cool with that. Uh, what I'm not cool with is, you know, we were not eating cereal as a family for dinner, except on really sad nights, really sad nights. Um, like, this is the dinner, like, after you were at the funeral late. You know what I mean? You guys, like, guys, are you guys, are you okay with, are you okay with Frosted Flakes? Mom doesn't feel like cooking. And then she goes in her bedroom. She cries. Uh, Chloe says the tiger gets scarier and scarier every year. Illustrators drawing his nightmares. Yeah, 100%. I mean, this is like when uh, uh, Disney writers put or uh, illustrators put weird stuff in the cartoons. It's like these guys that are doing it's just like a, a license. Like, hey, if I make it passable as a lion, they might accept or a tiger. They might accept it. But yeah, this tiger's eyes are dead and yellow dead and yellow and like i said once again poor toucan sam i mean somebody get him out of there somebody adopt this bird does anybody is there a sanctuary we can get toucan sam to please um he's done with fruit loops he doesn't want to push it to kids for dinner dinner yeah no just like that paul for real <laughs> kids are stoked they don't even know the payback like what they're sacrificing on the back end it will be dear don't try to play any sports kids because you're just not going to have the you're just not gonna have the bones. For you. Yeah! Chicken. God. You can uh, have the night. I like how they made the chicken. It's a chicken because chicken's weak, right, guys? Nobody would want chicken. Chicken is a weakling. Hmm. Get off, chicken. Huh, okay, I'll go marinate. Cereal. Yeah! Cereal. The greatest yeah! commercial ever made. Just give that person a fucking raise. Um, I wonder what is gonna happen with the people that went forth with this uh, sort of. I guess marketing campaign or marketing angle because yeah, it's just 